Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're so glad to be here presenting the first episode of our series that is called uh, From Heaven to Hell. It's a series about uh, the technology and its uh, advantages and disadvantages. Our it cast. Can be, uh, it could be uh, other topics like the environment or the, the wars, the works. So this is the, the tentative uh, first episode, and our cast is made by Vivian Cortez, Juan Galeano, Jan Balbuena, and Brian Gallego. Next to that, we are going to explain why we are uh, dressing uh, red t-shirts. And uh, later, we are going to uh, give you a test about the cell phone uh, dependence. So uh, we hope you like it. and. Next to that, we are going to we are going to do a feedback. Hi, and welcome to the first episode of From Heaven to Hell, a funky Dios bilingue brand new show. In this space, you can find information about technology and its repercussions. Do you think they are bad or they are good? Come and join us to discover the truth. First of all, what is technology? Technology refers to practical applications of scientific. Oh, 
the internet, like gaming or browsing. We are depend on technology for everything. People are excessively dependent on technology such as cars, computers, smartphones, etc. technology in our life to an extent that it is impossible to think for performing our day-to-day -day with our Isn't that technology has brought more advantages for the humankind according to the information in this episode? Is that we need to learn how to use technology in a, in a smart scale. We can continue with our life without creating an addition to it, because technology can be our saver or executioner as well. But this is an educational process that will need time to be effective. The arrangement right now depends on you. Are you gonna live to be connected or are you gonna connect to live? Well guys, thanks for watching. You soon for another episode of From Heaven to Hell. So maybe in the future we're going to see, we're gonna see another one. episode. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this episode uh, has an important word that we needed to recall. Uh, that word is dependency. How many of you have cell phones? Raise hands. Raise hands. Everybody, Everybody here in the classroom. <laughs> so how many of you check his phone before uh, waking up? And, ju and just okay, before you exactly the same thing, you are one of those guys who all the time go to get the same one in hand, impossible to get to live without it. Yes? My God. Who eats lunch, uh, breakfast, or or dinner with the cell phone, just eating like that? Yeah, me. Excellent image. So maybe your cell phone uh, could be uh, with a lot of, of meat there. Well, your cell phone is grass, is, is... Okay. How many of you go to classroom with their cell phones? Checking with their cell phones? Hey, can you see everybody? Even giving the classes, they are using cell phones. Who use their cell phones just to search for information? And for chat with friends? For chat with friends to, to open the Facebook, Instagram? <laughs> So maybe you use your cell phone uh, more for uh, social life, not for information for uh, the school. Now, okay, so uh, now we're going to explain why we are dressing uh, red t-shirts. Uh, as you may see, uh, you have a little bit uh, tendency to be dependent of your cell phones. So this, this red color is the most llamative color in, in all the gum we have. So this can mean an alert for you, an, an advertency. If you continue with these habits, if you continue checking your phone uh, just before going to bed or after you waking up, you will be like zombies, you know? Uh, maybe you could be in, in The Walking Dead because you, you were just walking like this, like this, like this, and maybe, maybe in the street a car will hit you. So with this, we want to uh, give you an advice or to give you some uh, some ways that you may follow to improve your life and to see that you have persons in front of you. You are uh, ignoring people that have something important to say to you just because you're using your cell phone. So please respect the other person, respect uh, who you have in front and respect others uh, too because you need to 
to be connected with this life, with the terrenal life, not with the virtual life. Another thing is that you have to be conscious that technology is making so bad things to the environment and to our society. Um, it, you have to be more careful what you do with your electronic garbage. You maybe you are see, you have seen the the special boats for for the batteries, and there is some place that they get the the electronic garbage too. So we uh, we have to be more careful where we put the the electronic garbage and what to do with it. Yeah, that is a major issue. Well, how are you technology? But what is the problem with the cell phones that are very old and they are not gonna be used any longer? So the idea is they are gonna go to a place where we, I imagine like a, a dumb place, like a dumb place. Yes. But what we can do to progress and not to kill our planet at the same time because that is like exactly. a dilemma, you know, that we have nowadays. But that is and that's just. Uh, not just cell phones, there is uh, computers, tablets, um, electro-domestics, yeah. there is uh, every, every electronic this, uh, gadget uh, is going to finish in a dump. And they are producing, 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 producing all the time. And we are consuming, consuming, and you see that a phone can, uh, his life is like one year, two years, and all the phones is going to the garbage and it's going to be falling in so some time. We're going to put all our, you know, or all the things that we are not uh, using anymore. Where are they going? Exactly. Very good. Like it a lot, guys. So we have some parents here in the classroom and uh, let me invite you to take the test of the mobile dependence and uh, let's see what we can find uh, with the answers you can give us. examples of the global warming. Global warming has increased, for example, the temperature, the average temperature of the tem terrestrial atmosphere and the oceans. So it's increasing. I mean, every year the planet is hotter and hotter. Yes. Every year. I got a Donald Trump saying that that is a lie. <laughs> Donald Trump doesn't think that, has, that is true. He said, no, global warming, that is something that people just made up. Okay, but that is a reality that everybody is facing now. Temperature has risen from the ends of human activity. Mainly is produced by the CO2 gases. The solution to the global warming needs to invest in clean energy, green employment, and energetic intelligent solutions. Um, uh, we cannot allow us any more delays. Um, to put limits to the pollution of greenhouse gases, um, to manufacture and to lead more intelligent cars. Uh, yeah, that means that the problem is to produce a lot of CO2. Okay, cars, everything, but not only cars. What about rice crops? What about uh, cows to poo? Everything produces CO2, believe me. Okay, and humans are it. Okay, all the industry. Can you imagine? My God, we're not helping any, a, a lot, I mean, very good. Of the tropics to the poles, the global warming, 
will have transformed the planet on an incontestable form in a few decades. The impacts will be terrible economically and for human beings too. That's right. What about all the natural disasters that nowadays we can see all around the world? For example, there was a, a like a few weeks ago, what was the name? Uh, that was in Puerto Rico, okay? Uh, Irma. 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 Okay, my God. Don't you think that that kind of things maybe are produced also by humans and it's not only the environment, but the environment is pushed by humans, okay, to behave and be like that? That is a good question. So today we talk about this because it's important to say to people about the importance of our planet. So we need to take care of all this because if we continue like this, in a few decades we can be destroyed. That's right. So if the planet can support life, okay, so nobody is going to live in this planet. Very good, Alison. Great. Thank you. Okay, guys. To form uh, the, of the music, uh, the project is of the game of question a random song. Uh, all right, uh, you need to try the quest. Who is the question to song? Uh, uh, please, uh, when you um, when you listen. Uh, all persons are quiet and silence, please. That's right. So in the meantime, okay, they are reproduced. Okay, everybody is gonna be quiet, listening, and very attentive. Yeah. And uh, when you have the hands square, please put your hands on. All right. Okay. Thanks. Really good. Excellent. All right. Is it now? You need video? Or only a listening part? Listening part. Okay, yes. You need some help? Audio. Okay. Tonight, I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive. That's correct. Wow. Can you repeat it, right? Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Right? Next question. Next song. Next song. 
Brian like it? Yeah, that's correct. Wow. <laughs>
Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I am Juan Esteban Chacón and my classmate Juan Camilo Vera. Uh, today we have brought our project. Uh, our project is about the evolution of the technology in the technology and how the margin could be uh, could be it. Nowadays we can see the technology. Uh, we can see the technology everywhere. Uh, for like, for example, in our homes, uh, schools, ma uh, malls, uh, and worlds. Uh, I would like. I would also like to share, like to share uh, how the imagine the, this could be. Uh, could be. The, uh, some of the objects we, we use often, uh, some are the TV, plantas for tens means, the media, radios, phones, computer, storage device, and the medicine. So in those fields of the knowledge where we can yeah. easily find technology. Ten technology. Okay, that's right. The TVs. Uh, the first commercial television was created on 26 January uh, 1926 by the Scottish John Baird. Uh, the TV has function of giving the reception and reproduction television signals. Uh, amongst television of the past uh, are uh, knob television, uh, black and white television, and mechanic television. When you uh, say knob television, what do you mean with knob television? Mm. Ah, okay. Uh, what was called the perilla. Okay, that's right. Then, okay, you start getting fat because you had a remote control. Okay, that's right. Excellent. Good. Um, amongst television of the present are 
uh, digital TV, 3D TV, um, flat screen TV, and touch screen. And amongst television, maybe you will see in the future, uh, you will uh, find um, uh, Curved TV, Rollway Best, and Think TV. Yeah, it's, it's like crazy because in the past television were like showing. Yeah. They were like with a baby. Okay, <laughs> then okay. television went to the gym and they were flat. Okay, nowadays television are going what? How do you say this? They are four. So right now they are not showing but they are like very thin, skinny. <laughs> like, oh. And the people, it's, it's like crazy. That is the evolution of And the people fat. That's yeah. right, yeah. Bueno, eh, the lands of means transportation. Uh, it's very important for the humanity because it used to travel uh, the, of the uh, one place another place. Uh, before it is the the car carriages, carriages. Car uh, carriages, carriages, animals and railway, uh, railway. Uh, the 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 car the animals and the uh, the animals was used since t time a long time ago in the present uh, we can see the mother automobile a cab and bus. Right, very different, different means different, of transportation. Yeah, uh, different transportation. Uh, and the, in the future, uh, maybe will be exist the proofing, flying cars, and petty bus. Flying cars. Yes. And yes. I think flying that, that, that I think nice. I think flying maybe exist the 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 teletransportation bot. Uh, how transportation bot, maybe in the future bot, teletransportation how, yes maybe. or maybe uh, the top uh, Futurama uh, yeah like, like, like cartoons okay, Cartoon, you see something like that <laughs> hey if you think about it few hundred years ago just to think about to go to the moon was crazy for many people yes. but nowadays astronauts, okay, any kind of space show, any kind of thing, so yes. nothing is so amazing nowadays. Everything should be possible. That is the message of technology. Uh, a, continu a continuation, the media. Uh, most probably the, fir the first form of communication between human beings was in some things in uh, of employees in prehistory art. Um, the reflection of myriad culture of the different manifestation of prehistory art. They serve to transmit information in a society. Um, amongst uh, millions in the past are um, uh, smoke, le uh, smoke signals, letters, telegrams, and newspapers. Uh, <coughs> Among millions in the present are emails, phones, social networks, um, Facebook, Skype, and Twitter. Uh, and maybe in the future uh, you will see um, multiple devices, middle advertiser, and message in electronic, electronic uh, devices. I'm not going okay so far, okay, nowadays uh, I see something called Google Glasses. No, ah, yes. You can go in your car, you can go walking on the street, and you have all the information and you can interact with the information walking, so you don't need to sit down, okay, one, two hours, but you can go on the street walking, and you have total access to internet, and you can check, answer emails, everything, okay, nowadays, People put some, how do you say, thing that they put inside the bag, okay? My God, technology is going crazy. It's I don't know how this is going to be in the next 20 or 50 years, but wow, any kind of thing can be possible. Uh, uh, radio. Radio. Wow. Radio. Uh, before, uh, bueno, the, the radio is a electronic medium of the communication, uh, and you can edge each the music and the news uh, before it is the rock calling 
the rock hall, uh, the rock hall, oh, uh, yeah. the people in the rock hall to, to dance in the discotheques or the bar. Yeah. And it's satellite, satellite, satellite radio. radio and broadcasting. Broadcast. Today, in the present, uh, we can see in our homes the radio, in uh, in cell phones <laughs> or tape recorder. Stereo and they are at home. They are at home. Yeah. Uh, in, in the future. Uh, in the future, no. That is at present. Okay, it's wireless head, uh, headphones. Okay, so you don't need okay, wires. Nowadays, sí. you only put okay, your earphones and that's it. Okay, you're connected. Okay? Yes. But uh, Ravion is my device and with less headphones. With less headphones. The, hmm. the most important device See, now the phone. is the phone. The the phone. phone. Hey, uh, have you heard what he said about a cell phone? Cell phone can be used for any kind of thing and sometimes to make phone calls. The phone. It is telecommunication device designed to transmit acoustic signals at a distance by means uh, of electrical signals. And they, now all people uh, have one, one cell phone. And amongst uh, phones in the past are um, telegrams, uh, wild, te wild phones and wheel phones. Uh, amongst phones in the, in, of the present are Mm, we'll have phones, cell phones, and smartphones, and maybe in the future we'll find uh, transparent phones, flexible telephones, and rollway phones. Yeah, phone that actually you can move like yes. this. You know, it's like wow. Uh, the use of the cell phone uh, to, is to entertain, entertain the, entertain the person. Uh, so uh, do our homework. Yeah. Uh, and communicate with other person. That's correct. Uh, maybe in the future exist the holograms? Holograms. Holograms. Oh, okay, so you're going to put your cell phone and you're going to put the person in front of you talking yes. to the Transparent. person with the cell phone. Can you imagine, Victoria, I'm going to put you right there. Yes. Hi, Victoria, how are you? Uh, you know, in front of you and not talking on the phone. It's going to be crazy. Okay, good. Uh, for yeah, like Star Wars, the movie. For example, Google, uh, maybe we create the contact lens, smart contact lens. Smart contact lenses. Wow, that is going to be like a maybe, of a cell phone, but just, just right here? Yes, maybe connect with the, our cell phone. Like it, like it. Bueno, uh, right, the computer is electronic device. Uh, uh, the receive programs, commands programs. Uh, before exist uh, the abacus, Atari, yes, uh, Atari Stacy, and computer uh, commander pet. The Atari. Oh, the, the, I remember Atari. Yes, I played Atari when I was a child. That was a couple of years ago. Okay, I remember. That. I used to play a lot. Yeah. Like, uh, of the this computer are the it's need it's need receive commands commands commands, uh, commands. when the present we can see tablets uh, iPad desktop computer and tactile touch 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 computers touch screen computers touch screen computers and the present, uh, the present, uh, uh, how do you say, un futuro muy, no, muy, no, muy cercano? Okay, in the, future. in the near future. The near future maybe exists the pocket computer and the quantity computer. Uh, in the holograms, uh, uh, the holograms, uh, uh, the holograms, okay, ay, se me pide esa parte. Maybe you can see the scratch holograms is 72 inches. Yeah. 72 inches. Yeah. Stores device. 
They are used to store digital information. Um, amongst uh, stored devices in the past are not floppy disks, CDs, and DVDs. Um, the people uh, are used uh, this for long time in the past. Um, in the can, can, can you put the last one? Can you put the last one? How do you know you're getting old? Translation. How do you know you're getting old? How do you know you're getting old? Julio, ¿no? Sa puedes saber ¿Cómo sabes que te estás volviendo viejo? When you recognize this one. <laughs> when you recognize this one. Uh, uh, and maybe uh, this one. If you ask children nowadays, what is this? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> and what about this? Huh? What's that? You know? It's crazy, but hey, we we are familiar with that. Nosotros sí nos familiarizamos con eso. And in the in the present in the present you can see USB, PC, micro SD memory, and email. Very good. And maybe in the future you you will you will see a holograms hologramic storage and scale out closed devices. The medicine is very important for our lives because if because he, excuse me, because if we don't have it, how couldn't couldn't not uh, do our activities, daily activities, because it's very important for for the people. Uh, before uh, the people use uh, acupuncture, uh, but in the present, in yeah, exists, 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 but not it. very recognized. Yeah, but many people don't think about the herbs. You know, traditional medicine and alternative medicine. Yes, now. the herbs. Uh, so, so the herbs. Yeah, yeah, herbs, herbs, and healers. In the present, uh, we can see in the we can see the medicine acetaminophen. Very good. <laughs> it's a like Colombia, everybody Colombia. can be cured from any kind of disease with acetaminophen. 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 Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. In, okay. in the how do you say mandato? Yeah, how do you say? Uh, mandato? It's like a mandatory. Mandatory of the president Uribe, uh, he created EPS uh, to the exist hospitals and vaccines. The, yeah, the right. vaccines, the children don't around, like vaccines. Many people all around the world have many problems. For example, North Korea North. is a problem. Hunger is another problem. But in Hunger. Colombia, the problem yeah. is Hunger. EPS. Los que, that is why it's killing people in Colombia. Aquí lo que mata a la gente son las EPS. Yes. Okay, that's right. Go ahead. In the future, uh, maybe is a organ printing. Organ it, printing is very important. But uh, bonical implants and pre, pre, prenatal genetic manipulation. Very good, excellent. Well, no, 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 La conclusión. Conclusions. They will have technological house to live in beings. In the last century, the planet here um, has been a total witness to the technology development of man. Um, man has advanced too much. In, techno, in, techno, uh, in technology, but thanks to this, has ended with the munch in nature. Uh, uh, this cause um, forests fire and kill animals, it is in. The, the technology not only affects nature, but nature. But also man be, begin, begins. <coughs> Human beings themselves, yeah. yeah. Some of these are yeah. hearing in environment, environment, yeah. yeah. uh, mental problems, obesity, AIDS damage, AIDS damage, addiction is easy. 
In conclusion, in my opinion, I think humanity has done a great job in creation so many technological inventions, but thanks to this, he sacrificed the nature, the nature and live in the planet where the next generation live and live. That's right, great. And uh, almost although uh, the technology in the, in the past is, uh, is a slow, is lower than in the present, uh, if we didn't have the technology in the past, we wouldn't have the technology in the present. Uh, the, the, the present is important, but how sacrifice the how sacrifice for uh, how do you say for Okay, uh, if we want to get there, okay, like in the future, it's not necessary to sacrifice okay, the life on our planet, okay, because that is a problem. How we can advance with technology, and at the same time, how we are not gonna kill the planet, okay? So that is the problem nowadays, okay? That is the problem. Well, I would like to introduce you a video. A video? historic relatives and forefathers. Quick to run, less quick to communicate. In fact, it took several million years before we realized it might be better to organize communication into a system. In some of its earliest forms, humans communicated through pictograms, like the stories on the walls of the pyramids. But the pictograms were limited, so the ancient Greeks invented the first extensive alphabet. Over the next several hundreds of years, communication was limited to handwritten materials, which were largely religious in subject. That changed in 1448, when a German named Johann Gutenberg invented the printing press. His invention combined ink, paper, and movable type with the goal of creating standardized reproducible writing. Apropos for the times, Johann printed a ton of Bibles. Spin the wheel of history to the 1700s and meet the Gutenberg Press's faster, more dashing brother, the typewriter. Historians count 50 or more prototypes that existed before William Austin Burke patented an early version in 1829. Also in the 1800s, an American named Samuel Morse transitioned from painter to inventor when his wife died, but he didn't hear of her death until days later. Now keenly aware that the speed of communication wasn't up to snuff, Morse created the telegraph and Morse code. In the 1870s, two inventors, Alexander Graham Bell and Alicia Gray, battled to create and subsequently fight over the invention of the telephone. Bell was proclaimed the winner, despite Gray likely beating Bell to the patent office. Less than 50 years later, another feud erupted, this time between Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi over the invention of radio. It was also a race to the patent office that ended in Marconi being awarded the Nobel Peace Prize and Tesla being awarded an anonymous aid band. Now that sound could be transmitted wirelessly, we did the same with visual images. The 1950s marked the television boom, leading to a black and white TV signal broadcast into living rooms everywhere. Not to be left out, telephones took a page from the ancient Greek scroll and made considerable strides in speed and efficiency, with the development of fiber optic cable by Corning in the 1960s and the birth of a rather full-figured cell phone in the 1980s. Thousands of vacuum tubes later, communication focused on the computer and microprocessors that used Dow Corning silicon and computer chips. And by the early 1980s, personal computers were sold to the public. But of course, where would modern communication be if we neglected to mention the Internet? The Internet was first used by the U.S. government until the 1990s, when Internet browsing went commercial, marking the tipping point for email and in-the-shower-away messages. But never one to be tethered to the past or to a desk, we took web browsing from desktop to mobile devices and tablets with the advent of 3G and 4G technology, allowing us to communicate at light speed from anywhere on the globe and forever altering how we perceive our role in the world. Are you ready for the next innovation? Learn more about how our work is shaping the way we communicate at dow.com slash solutions. Great video, guys. Great video. Uh, uh, but so... Uh, um, but finish. Finish. No, uh, for finish, uh, we uh, it's a three question. What will happen with the technology? If what will happen with the technology if the three threat war war occur? Okay. Uh, where is uh, Brian? Brian, where are you, Brian? Brian, translate what uh, he said. Okay, translate 
What will happen with the technology? Is the three world war? Uh, the third one. Occur. Occur. Aquí está un question, ¿ok? Ella con ellos a medio y les va a dejar unas preguntas aquí en su mente, no las tiene que contestar. Otra. But that is one. What will happen with technology if the third world war happens? Ok, that's good. Next question. Uh, what, what have we been doing to protect the planet? What have we been, what have, what have we been doing? What have we or what uh, could we do? I think it's what could we do. No, what have we been doing? To project the planet. And what have we been doing to destroy the planet? And what have we been doing to destroy the planet? I need to destroy everything. Para destruirlo creo que hacemos todo. todo. And to save it, para salvarlo, very little. Very little. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. Guys. Uh, My name is Juan Pablo Aquero, and I'm going to tell you about the international political problems. Uh, what is an international political problem? Someone can yeah, tell me? Yeah, that is a problem that is happening around the world, and many people uh, are aware of it, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's close. And, well, uh, really, an uh, international political problem is a conflict with two or more countries in the world uh, taking to uh, violence uh, with armies, with guns, with all the deaths uh, of we see all the, all the days and not violence and only using diplomatic uh, proc procured, uh, talking, talking and like in Venezuela in Venezuela, no one is uh, going to kill people, but all the governments are uh, close and close the the ways to Venezuela, the food, the food, the technology, all. Or, well, as in this little definition of international political problems, I'm gonna. Uh, show you some example of this. La hija mucho. Mucho. Otra. The First World War. Uh, what was the First World War? Why happened? What did happen? The, the first world war. When that happened? That is a good question. Okay, when that happened? Someone can answer? 29 or 19? 90 or 90? 90 or 90? 90 or 90? 29. No, it lasted, it lasted only four years. So it started in 1914 and finished uh, in 1918. Uh, okay, that's right. Very good. Well, uh, first, uh, why did it happen? The, this, formally, this war formally began uh, when the Archduke of the Kingdom of Austria Hungary. Uh, Franz Ferdinand was killed, was assassinated. Uh, this doing a political conflict in all the war, and some days later, the great powers won in war. Uh, in this war, like this image, uh, we can see the the aliens, the the bands of the war, and one were the allies. 
uh, and were confirmed by, Gre uh, by Great Britain, France, Russia, Russia until 1914, and the great powers confirmed by Germany, the Austro-Hungary Empire, the Kingdom of Italy, and some others. Um, in this war, some uh, some kingdoms, some countries, uh, so all the order uh, says to exist, like the Austro-Hungary Empire, uh, the Ottoman Empire, uh, the, the disappear. And uh, this war ends with the with the win of the alias. And well, the important of this. Let's see. Uh, the guys, the first level were actually the guys who won. Who won? Who won. Yeah. Okay. And the more important of this, this war was the fifth war more deadly in the war. Uh, with nine millions of combatants dead and seven millions of civilians. Nine millions of soldiers over in the war and seven millions of innocent, normal people. Yeah, over 16 million of people in total. Dead people in that war. In this war. Six millions of muertos in esa guerra. Yeah, and it's all. And it's only the fifth war more deadly. It's the fifth. It's like only the fifth. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I, I don't want to think about yeah, yeah. it. Uh, well, next up, uh, another example of this is the Second World War. Uh, first, the Second World War uh, formally began by, with the invasion of Poland by the Nazi German. Hitler, that uh, that taken to Great Britain and France to declare the uh, war. De declare the declare war. The war. Uh, yeah. Uh, in this war, like the like the uh, the first one, the first one, were two bands: the Alias and the Axis. The Alias conformed by the Big Four. Uh, what was the big four? The big four were China, uh, Great Britain, uh, United States, and the Soviet Union. And the Axis uh, conformed by the Nazi German, Italy, and the Kingdom of Japan. Japan. Like the other world, the first, bite by bite these uh, the axes were falling and falling and falling down uh, first with the invasion of Berlin the capital of Germany by the Allies and uh, the, the suicide of Adolf Hitler. Uh, Adolf Hitler were the, uh, was the the boss, the yeah, the great head uh, head of the Nazi German. And later, with the uh, ah, when well, uh, this taken to the surrender of the Nazi German, and uh, some days later with the Japan with the bombs the nuclear bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the imminent uh, invasion of the archipelago of so Japan uh, Japan formally surrender of the September 2nd of 1945 1945 it was the end of the war the end of the war yeah, uh, yeah see. and how many dead people? How many dead people in the Second World War? The Second World War was the deadliest uh, war in oh, all the world. More than 16 million more, people dead? Uh, over 50 and 85 million of people dead. Wow! 80, 80, 85, 80, 85, 85, 
85. 85 millones. 85. Yeah. Oh, it's a. Only a. Uh, well, um, now uh, a younger world, a world more, more recent, uh, the Iraq War. This war begins in 2003 with the with the invasion of Iraq by the U.S. force, uh, with uh, the uh, government of George W. Bush saying of he was in totally disagree of the on the uh, uh, war terrorism, the international terrorism. Uh, with the claims of the of the World Trade Center, the attacks of the World Trade Center of the September 11 of 2001, the Twin Towers, and uh, well, then this war uh, first. One of the more important claims of the Bush government was of the Iraqi government were holding were to the terrorist group in the war like Al Qaeda and ISIS and, and saying of Iraq had a massive destruction weapons. But actually that was not that true. Was not true. Uh, wait. Um, in the red line operation the president of of Iraq, uh, this uh, Saddam Hussein, was arrested, and three, jail, three years years later were uh, executed by a military court by of deep claims. Do you remember how he was killed? He was killed in, in, in a terrible way. I imagine in the same way that he used to kill others. Yeah, <laughs> in the... He was hanged, you know? Yeah. He was hanged because that guy was not a good guy. I no. Uh, well, but later of all these... All these deaths... All the, no. The weapon. Uh, the, these claims of the health to Al-Qaeda and the weapons that were proven false. Of that note was a true, and then in more or less in the December of 2011, all the troops of USA were out of the country and no, that is okay. And now. The actual problem, right? Don't have to explain because yeah. this is what we see all day in the news, in the television, in the internet, in all of we see all day is uh, the kill. Yeah, yeah. Newspaper, yeah. Knows the kills, the hungry, the inequality. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like. I don't know, uh, North Korea doing what they want uh, with the rockets and the probes, uh, the dictatorship of Venezuela, uh, the war of uh, the uh, Orient, uh, the war. Yeah. And well, I, I think this, in this point, a sense. Uh, do you have some questions? No. Yeah, question guys. Maybe some of you have uh, got a question. It's about the time to make it. Very good. Any question? Guys. No. Uh, well, before finish this, I wanna uh, do question for you. For do you think it that and uh, say showing seeing all the deaths all the numbers of the wars, the kills, all this. Uh, I wanna ask you, is the human uh, violent? Is the human violent? Uh, is, are we human? Are, uh, we 
uh, like the blood, the kill, like a kind of sport. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, uh, that is all. My name is Juan Pablo Aquero, and this was the international political problems. Uh, yeah. Juan Pablo.